Hey everybody, today Rado previews a prototype of Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition. But before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goofs, you'll know what they are. And if you've done that, well then welcome to Mars, everybody, where we are about to launch our expedition. Although, who are we? Well, each player at the beginning of the game picks a corporation from Earth. And in this game, I can choose between Thorgate and Hellion. Uh, both of these corporations really focus in generating heat. And that is very, very important because to actually properly terraform Mars, there are three things we have to do. We have to flip all of these ocean tiles so that there is enough water on the surface. We have to get the temperature up quite a ways, all the way up to, what is it, uh, 6 degrees? Uh, or no, 8 degrees, sorry, Celsius. And we have to increase the oxygen content in the atmosphere to 14%. Once all three of those things are done, the game is over, and uh, players figure out who won, uh, which is the best corporation at terraforming Mars. However, today... I am here by myself. I am not actually doing a two-player run-through. I'm doing solo, which means I am instead going to play for 25 rounds. And if in those 25 rounds I have not finished all three of those metrics, I lose. So I am not racing against another player. I'm racing against the clock. But you're still going to get a pretty good idea of exactly how this game plays uh, watching it run through solo. So I got to pick which of these two do I want. Let's see. And what's the difference? Well, this one. If I'm Thorgate, I start with 45 credits, uh, as opposed to only 28, so I'll be much richer. But, as you can see, I generate three heat, as opposed to only one heat. Now, they also have a secret benefit, or not a secret, a, a special benefit, and Hellion is that I can use heat as money, but I cannot use money as heat, so I can swap stuff back and forth. And for the other one, for Thorgate, uh, whenever I make an energy, whenever I build an energy producing, Outpost, card, whatever it might be, I get a three credit discount. So, I think today, I think today, I, I would like to have more heat, but I want to be rich. I want to start out with 45 and I want to get a discount. Although, actually, I don't have to make this decision yet because, in addition to having two different corporations to choose from, and as you might imagine, there are a whole bunch more that have different amounts of money you start with and different special abilities. Every time you play, you're going to pick two of these, so you really get a different feel. In addition to this, I have a starting hand of eight cards, and um, I might make a decision based on or which the, based on what I have. Like, for instance, if I'm going to go for the thing that gives me a discount on energy, I do have one, two, I have exactly two gener ener energy cards. Okay. Which means maybe I should go for the other one. That's the more general purpose. But what do these energy cards do? Which, remember, I would be able to build these for a discount. So instead of this costing 16 credits, it would only cost 13. Instead of this costing 9, it would only cost me 6. And I would be starting with 45 if I'm Thorgate. Although, this Quantum Extractor, in addition to costing 16 bucks, also requires that I have 3 Science. And we're reminded of that right up here, but also in the text. And let's see, during production, it produces three heat. So I could really become a heat superstar. Plus, this is worth two victory points at the end of the game as well. Um, although, since I'm playing solo, I don't care about victory points. I just care about winning or losing, quite frankly. But let's see. So I would need a lot of science to make this. And I do have the Lagrange Observatory, which generates one science, and some basic research. So, right, forget about what. I definitely want to make this to start generating heat. I need three, so I'm going to keep all of these, because here's the deal. As part of setup, before I choose my starting um, corporation, I can take of my eight cards and jettison any of them, and then draw back up till I have a hand of eight, and then that's it. That's going to be my hand. So I don't want to keep these three. And you know what? This lunar beam... This lunar beam, which to build it means I have to give up one of my terraforming resources, which is a uh, metric that's very, very important, and it generates four heat. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's totally do that. And if I'm going to keep both of these, yeah, that's good enough. I'm going to go with Thorgate. We're going to be all about being crazy rich. And we say goodbye to Hellion, which means I start with 45, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 credits. All righty. Which is not as high as it goes, but this is, I'm definitely one of the richer uh, corporations in the game. And I start with one heat production. So I move this up a little bit. And so whenever I do production, I can generate one heat. And remember, we are here trying to heat this planet up as a, in addition to oxygen and water. 
And now, actually, before I go any farther, folks, remember, this is a preview. It's a prototype. And uh, my prototype comes with this board where uh, these little cubes to keep track of my various production things could slide around, which is why I'm using a little bit of uh, fun tack on them to stick in place. If you go check out the Kickstarter page, you can hit that eye in the top right corner of the screen. You will see that the Kickstarter version of the game actually comes with dual layered boards that lock all these cubes in place. So they will not slide around by accident. So uh, I know that's something a lot of people are going to be worried about. And so don't worry. If you check it out on Kickstarter, you'll see that you've got nice, uh, much nicer than what my prototype has. Anyway, so, all right. So I'm keeping these, which means then I've also got developed infrastructure, which um, basically says um, as an action, I can spend 10 uh, money, 10, 10 mega credits, I think, to raise the temperature one step but you know what? If I'm generating all this heat, I don't know that I care about that. And reduce this by five if I have five or more blue cards in play. So this means I'd want a combo with a lot of other... And hey, you know what? Here's... I could have three of the five blue cards I need to get the most out of this. Viral enhancers. Righty. Whenever I do animal life or viral life or plant life, uh, including uh, you know generating for this thing, I can gain one plant or, or on another card. Oh, wow. So it, that definitely enhances. That's nice. And then I've got some restructured resources. Whenever I play a card, I can spend one plant to reduce this card by five, which would be great if I can generate plants. Okay, okay. And, and then I've also got some satellite farms, which during production can produce heat for every um, space element that I've built. Every stuff that's, everything I've built in orbit, the more of them I have, the more heat my satellite farms would generate. You know what? I'm, I'm done for Thorgate. I think I'm going to get rid of all four of these and draw four more and hopefully get some more energy generators. One, two, three, four. And I got none. <laughs> okay. Well, but that's it. Uh, this this is my hand now. This is, what's, uh, this is how I am going to try and terraform this planet. And so we are ready to go. Now, if I was playing with other players, everybody would be doing this at the same time picking what their corp is, maybe getting rid of some cards, redrawing, and then we are off to the races. And how does the game work? Well, that's where this deck of cards in. Every player has one. I am the green player, so I've got all of these. And every round, and remember, in a solo game, there's going to be 25 rounds, I am going to pick one of these to indicate whether I want to do development, construction, actions, production, or research. And Every other player will do the same. We all simultaneously choose what we want to do, reveal at the same time, and that's going to tell us what's actually going to happen. Because if I play research, all players get to do research. If somebody else plays construction, I get to play construction as well. But if I'm the one that triggers the card, I get the main action everybody gets to do, and I also get the bonus action as well. So, what do I do right off the bat? Well, if I want to research, that would give me some more cards. So I could start trying to get more cards that have energy. But I already have enough cards in my hand. I don't think I need to do that. So forget about research. Production is all about producing plants, heat, and drawn cards. And if I were to do production right now, well, as if I launch it as the bonus, I would make four bucks. That's nice. But I'm already pretty loaded. And um, currently, I produce one heat. So now is not a good time to do production, I don't think. Actions, if I do this, that means I can activate blue cards that I've built. I haven't built any. Also a bad time to an action. It's a pretty safe bet that nobody would start the game doing that because nobody has any action cards built. Although that's not true. You might play action because this is the third step. If you suspect somebody else is going to play construction, which will give you the chance to build one of your blue cards, you might guess that that's what's going to happen and want to play action so that you could then use the blue card that you um, built because somebody else decided to construct. A big part of this game is guessing what you think your opponents are going to do. And it's also true for the solo game. I'll worry about that in a second. Uh, now, I don't know that I can trust the solo player. Plus, actually, I don't even know, do I have any action cards? I have the aquifer pumping, which means I'd have to build this. And then this lets me spend 10 bucks to flip any ocean tile, which is good. Because normally to flip ocean tiles, you have to pay 15. So having aquifer pumping makes it me better at, um, you know, that's really nice. And reduce this by two credits for every steel I've got. That's pretty handy. Um, and then my other one is decomposing 
Fungus. This is an action I could trigger. First of all, when I first develop Decomposing Fungus, I put microbes on here. When I activate it, I remove one animal or one microbe from one of my other cards, uh, from one of my cards, including the ones that are here, and get plants. So the Decomposing Fungus can convert animals into plants, basically. That makes sense. Alrighty. So, I mean, this is not an action I'm going to want to be doing unless I've got. Um, and this is an action I might want to do. but And I am loaded. I could really uh, push on that really quick. But no, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, so actions aren't really interesting. Really, so, and this is something that all players are going to think about. At the beginning of the game, chances are they're going to want to develop, which means you can build green cards. Or they're going to want to construct, which means you can build red or blue cards. And so I really need to think about, what am I going to want to build? Do I want to get my microbes? Let's see, if I go for a green... I'd be, do I want to get my Lunar Beam built really quick? Alrighty. Do I want to get my Quantum Extractor built really quick? I mean, the sooner I do, the more heat I'm generating if I do production. Well, no, I can't do this one because I need the science. Do I want to start working on that so I can get the extractor? Which means, do I... You know what? I think I want to play a red card. I want to do some research, which um, is only going to cost me five, and it's going to give me two of the three science I need for my quantum extractor, and it's going to let me draw two cards immediately. So I will not have to waste turns researching to draw cards. I think that's the plan. And I think construction is what I'm all about. And the rest of these... Now, my next turn, I cannot play construction. Uh, um, uh, next turn, I will have to play one of these other four cards. But for now, construction. And meanwhile, my opponent... And now, if I were playing against a human player, I might have guessed that they were going to do construction, which means then if I was going to construct, I might have wanted to do something else. But I don't know what <coughs> the AI is going to do. And I'm pretty happy they're going to do development. That is very nice, because that means this turn, with all my starting capital, I can get a green thing built, and I could get a red or blue thing built. Um, and I could take care of the bonus as well, because I triggered this. So that's nice. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to flip these to indicate this round, we're doing development and construction. And we're not doing any of the other three phases. Now, Jen and I found playing as a two-player game, we don't really need to do this because we can just see what actions are happening. But I can imagine at higher player counts, it might be easy to keep to lose track of, hey, which things are we doing this round? So we've got this as a little visual reminder of what exactly are we doing. For starters, we're doing development. Now, this um, uh, deck of cards never does anything. All I'm going to do is ultimately draw all five of these cards. And once I've done that, I'm going to reshuffle the deck and keep drawing. But every time I draw all five of these cards, the progress meter for the game, this is the timer, is going to move one forward. And so, now I know a little bit. Much like trying to play with a human player and guessing what they're going to do, I know that the, uh, the uh, AI or the deck is not going to do development in the future. So I could start thinking, I mean, I, I know I've got a one in four chance of guessing what they are going to do. But anyway, I am going to be constructing in a bit, but first, let's develop. And remember, this means each player gets to build a green project card, and whoever played this uh, gets to do it for three less than normal. Now again, this will never do anything. This is just drawing cards to replicate other players, because so much of this game is about you know piggybacking off what other players do. So, uh, which green do I want to build? Well, I can't build my extractor yet, because I don't have the science. I could get my microbes going, this is interesting. I mean, this isn't very expensive, and during production, uh, this will produce heat for me. And also, from now on, whenever I build a building, um, it costs two less. When I oh, that is that is pretty nice. Or, or do I want my lunar beam, which it costs nine, and I'd have to drop? And this is just going to let me do a lot of heat. But you know what? I don't need that heat yet. I like some industrial microbes. So during the green phase that the uh, the dummy, the, the deck triggered, instead of a human player triggering it, I'm going to pay nine. So here's a ten. Give me one and change. That's a nine. And um, this doesn't have any immediate effect, as there's no lightning bolts. But from now on, I'm producing one extra heat whenever there's production. And because I this is called steel, this basically means I'm better at constructing, I get a $2 construction. And I put this over here. And you can see, because this is all I need to see. I don't need to see everything that's on a card. Really, at a glance, I just need to see the icons. Uh, because this is reminding me, hey, when I build energy stuff, I get a discount. And hey, when I generate, I generate one, two heat. Now, I can also keep track of how much heat I generate because I've just increased. I'll put this over here. This is just an at-a-glance reminder that I'm generating two heat whenever we have production. Okay, so everybody 
can be doing this simultaneously. Everybody can be deciding what green am I going to build and paying and all of that. But anyway, we're done. Now we are on to step two, construction. And that means everybody gets to play, build a blue or a red card. And me, on top of that, I can draw a card, so I have more cards in my deck, or I can build a second blue or red card. So, I uh, don't get a discount, but I can build more. So, I'm not building any more greens. Let's wor not worry about those. I think this is right. I wanted to build this research. I'm going to build a research which says immediately draw two cards. All right. So, this costs me five. Uh, so, there goes uh, ten. Give me five back. All right. And draw two cards. I just got myself an earth catapult, which is very cool, which is a building which I get a discount on because of uh, my microbes. And um, this effect is when I play a card, pay two less, so I get two. I get a $2 discount on everything. Wow, that is very nice. And then I also have breathing filters, which um, is uh, basically, okay, this is worth two points. It's an upgrade, but to be able to put this into play, I need to have the auction level up to yellow or higher. That's going to be a long time off. And even still, the main thing breathing filters do for me is victory points, and in a solo game, I don't care. And for the record, the rules say I can be playing and you know trying to beat my high score and all of that, but really the main thing is, do I finish the planet or not? So this is interesting. This card is not that cool for me um, when I'm playing solo. And uh, plus, I can't play it for quite a while, not until the temperature goes up. But hey, remember, I'm planning on, on raising the roof in here and making this a hot, hot planet. So, I, so these are the two I drew for doing research. And now I get to my bonus. I could draw a card or I could build again. And let's go on ahead and build again. Because didn't I have the Lagrange Observatory, which is going to cost me seven. And now, unfortunately, I get no discount for... Well, nope. Yeah, I don't get a discount for this. Actually, do I want to build this Earth Catapult now so I'm getting discounts for the rest of the game? I have a $2 discount on already, so it's only going to cost me $23. The sooner I build this, the better. But that's really... I mean, I'm at $25, uh, 6, 7, 8, 29, 30, 31. I'm, I mean, I would, this would really bankrupt me really quick. But here's the deal. Any card you want at any time, there's a little reminder of it right here, you can discard to make three bucks. So you can effectively discard cards to make the money so you can build other cards. So am I? No, you know, I, I'd like to do this, but this is a bit. I, I might want to wait till I've got some more steel to get the price down on this. We'll see. Um, and mostly, I just don't want to be so low on cash so quick. So, because I mean, I started all this money. I'd like to run that for a bit. So, what was it? It was going to be. I needed that last science. So I'm going to go for the observatory. This cost me seven. All right, here's five, six, seven. All righty. And this reminds me immediately. Draw a card. All right. Red cards are event cards. You play them, and then they're pretty much done. They're not going to do anything else for you. Green cards are production cards. They give you bonuses that you'll mostly take advantage of when you play the production action. And uh, green or the blue cards are action cards. They uh, give you things that you have to activate when we do the uh, step three, the blue. All right. So anyway, so that's it. We have done construction. He's not going to bother. And right off the bat, before the first round is over, I've already got three things built. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards left in hand, which means I've really got $24 worth of cards because I could discard all of these if I wanted to make 24 bucks or you know any amount of them. And we have finished round one. And so it continues to round two. And remember... I cannot play construction again. I must trigger one of these others. Do I want some research to get some more cards? Do I want some production? Because, hey, now I'd be producing two heat. Do I want to do an action? No, I still don't want to do that because I have not built a blue uh, thing yet. So I think, well, um, I've got all the science I need now to build my quantum extractor. So, yeah. I think I want to trigger development. And so now what you do is everybody plays their new card sideways on their old card face down. Because everybody can tell, nobody knows exactly what I'm going to do, but they can tell it's not construction. And once everybody has done this, then everybody reveals at the same time, and they take back their old card. Um, I will be able to construct in the third round. Alrighty, so let's go on ahead and... Okay, um, right. 
the, so we're basically we're doing the opposite of each other, and that's not at all uncommon in a, in a, with more players as well. That everybody's just trying to get as much stuff built, especially if they've got a lot of money right from the get go. So we are once again going to do steps one, two. We're skipping three, four, and five. I'm not going to bother keeping track of this because again, I can see them. I get my construction card back, but the dummy doesn't. The longer the dummy goes, the more accuracy I have for determining what they're going to do next. They might now research or do actions. And now that's interesting. If they're going to do actions, I want to get a blue card built as fast as possible because I don't want them to do actions and me not have an action to take advantage of. So that's something. Uh, but I And I am, this turn, going to get a chance to build a blue because they triggered this. But let's not worry about that. Or, although I do need to worry about it. How much do I have? I've got 24 bucks left. Although I am getting a discount on buildings. Alrighty. So, the aquifer pumping, which... So this would normally cost 14, but it costs 12 because of the because of that I've unlocked. So that would be 12. And my quantum extractor costs well for 16 minus 2 again. Oh, but minus 2 plus minus 3 because it's energy. So this only costs 11 plus 12 means I can afford to build both of these this turn. A plan is coming to fruition. Let's start out by building the quantum extractor. I've got all the science I need. This costs 16. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Boom, boom. It doesn't do anything immediately, but when I produce, it's now bumped up my heat production. One, two, three more. I am now producing five heat whenever production comes. And once somebody has produced eight heat, they raise the temperature of the planet. And remember, that's what we're here to do. Get it hot, get it breathable, and get it uh, oceaned. Alrighty, so I did that. The, the dummy doesn't want to do anything. And oh wait, I forgot one more thing. Because I triggered this, I have a $3 discount as well. That's even cheaper to build this. So I've even got more money left over. Nice. Um, alrighty. Now, uh, we move on to step two because of construction. I get to build one green or one red. And I'm going to go on ahead and build this. This is going to cost me 14. Minus two. Cost me 12. Boom. Boom, boom. And... Um, now, as an action, I can spend 10 to flip an ocean tile, um, but here's the problem. I don't have 10. I need to make some money fast. Oh, but that's not true. I do have 10, because anytime I want, I can discard cards and turn them into three money. So I am now prepared. I might have to jettison some cards that I love, but I'm prepared that if my opponent decides to do a blue action... I've got a blue action that I'll be able to take advantage of. Alrighty, so we have finished the second round. And um, we're now moving on to the third. Now, the dummy, they're just going to do that. And I'm kind of hoping it's going to be a blue. Although, here's the deal. If I'm going to have to start burning money to use the aquifer to, uh, you know, whatchamacallit, uh, you know, create oceans... Maybe I want to do some research because I would get to draw two cards and keep one, or I should say all the other players get to do that. I would get to draw five cards, two plus three, and I'd keep two. Let's start doing some research. I'm going to do some research, and um, instead of development, which I can't do, or construction or production. I mean, I, production, it's starting to get reasonable time to do it. I'd generate, if I, if I do, I'd get, make four bucks, and I'd make five heat, which is halfway towards raising the planet. But I'm, I'm, way, I'm going to be on that. I just want to get some more cards in my hand right now. So that's what I'm choosing. They've chosen. Let's see what happens. It's almost like I planned it, folks. There we go. Um, okay. So, this time, we have step five, research, and step three, actions. And again, if I was playing with another player, they might have uh, triggered a uh, you know, one or a two or a four. Multiple players can trigger the same thing at the same time. Um, but anyway, so, let's start out with, we're skipping one, we're skipping two, let's do actions. Now again, he doesn't do anything. And now, I know his last two cards are production and research. I know these are coming, so I could take educated guesses and maybe take advantage of that. We'll see. Okay, so I don't know what's coming right now, but so first we're doing actions. Each player can activate the action effect. I have one action card. I'm going to activate this. I need 10 mega credits to flip an ocean tile instead of the regular 15, which I can do during production. And I'm going to reduce this by two for every steel I have. I have one steel. So this actually costs me eight. So here goes one, two, three, four of it. I need um, four more, which means I have to discard two cards. Every card is worth three, so I'll get six. Uh, two of which uh, I'll keep, and the rest will go towards running my aquifer pumping. So what do, remember, I had one I didn't care so much about. The breathing filters, 
I don't care about points. I'm not good enough to care about points yet. So there's one. That gives me three. And then which other one am I going to get rid of? I like this heat. I really want to become a heat super house. And I like this catapult. Although now it's so expensive, it's going to be tough to build. Artificial lake requires yellow temperature. So this I can't even build. And this is just, oh, this immediately. I build it once for 13 and it flips an ocean tile. You know, I think this is the one. I don't need it because I've got better ways to flip ocean tiles. I'll get rid of that. That gives me three more. And remember, I was still short because I needed eight total to run. So here goes the uh, other four because I already spent four. I'm down to two bucks and I run this and I get, and I've still got four cards, I get to flip any of these. Now these were put out randomly. Uh, don't know what's behind one. Let's go on ahead and go right to the center of it. Let's see. Show me what you got. I get four credits. All right. That's pretty nice because I was getting pretty broke. So there we go. And also, whenever a player flips an ocean tile, increases the oxygen content, or increases the uh, temperature, they also get one terraforming uh, rank. I think the TR, the terraforming. I've become a better terraformer. And this is important. In a multiplayer game, it's important because the higher the, each one of these I have is worth a point at the end of the game. I'm sitting on six victory points right now. But more importantly, the more of these I have, the more money I make during production. And I need money if I want to build an incredibly expensive Earth Catapult. All right, so that was that. I did not get to uh, use the bonus because I didn't trigger this. But now we move on to research. He doesn't care. He's not doing anything. But me, I instead of drawing two and keeping one, I'm going to draw five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to keep two of these. An ecological zone. That gives me another opportunity to do actions. Um, right. When I play animals or um, plants, including these, add an animal to this card. So this is comboing with another card. Dusty Quarry, alrighty, not very expensive, um, requires three or fewer ocean tiles. Okay, so I, you'd have to do this early. Once there's a bunch of ocean, um, you, you won't have places to do the quarries anymore. So I have to do this sooner than later. Um, and this is basically giving me more steel, so I get more discounts. Oh, I like this one. I think I'm keeping it. Then we've got monocultures. All righty. I have to give up one of my terraforming or, or my ra rankings. And during production, I produce plants. Oh, I want to produce plants so much. You saw there were other things like, you know, this plus this. This says, hey, during whenever I produce plants, also um, add an animal to this card. Oh, that's nice. Right. When you play a, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. oh, but no, this is not during production. This is, so if I have this in play already, during phase one or phase two, if I build a uh, card, then I can... Right, okay, so that's not quite as exciting. All right, I've got tectonic stress power. More heat, oh, and more discounts because it's a building and it's energy. I'm totally keeping that. I had to draw five, keep two. That's it, folks. Here go the other three. They all get added to my hand. Nice, nice, nice. And we have finished another round. So, um, we move on to the next round, and we've almost gone through his deck. Remember, what could it be? It's either production or research... Of course, I could have just looked there, but I... All right, there we go. So production or research is coming my way. And again, if you look around the table and you see a player who has no cards in their hand or only a couple of cards, you might rightly guess they're going to do research. And by the same token, if they uh, don't have a lot of resources, you might guess they might do production. So you can make, and it's key to this game, is anticipating when your players are going to do stuff that you want to do, so that, that means you can piggyback off of them and then do your own stuff as well. So anyway, i got to pick one of these. I am broke, broke, broke. I, mm, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. This would cost me 15 to build. I've got six, which means I'd have to burn a bunch of cards. I don't want to do that, particularly because I bet... If this is research, I've got more cards coming that I can convert into money. I think it's time. I think it's time, folks, to produce. And now I might be wasting my time because he might be producing, in which case I should do something else. I, I will not be happy if I wasted the opportunity. It's a 50-50 chance. But you know what? You can never be sure. Let's just go for it. I am producing, which means I take my research back. And that means, well, here's one benefit. Um, you know, if I feel bad because, hey, I could have gotten production without wasting the card, I will still get the bonus of getting four money. So, you know, I don't, don't feel too bad if I miscalculated. 
And I did. I did not need to do this. I could have done more research and gotten the production done anyway. Um, if multiple players choose the same things, it's only going to get activated once. It's not like if, in this case, hey, we'll get to do production twice. That's why it was a waste of my time to do this. But hey, we both, if, we, if this was a human player, we both get the bonus. Everybody who chose it get the bonus. So let's go. Well, first of all, let's do the bonus first. Let's go on ahead and get that four. Get me. I want those credits. So I get those bonuses, and as it says, each player gains heat, plants, and or draws cards according to their production level. They also uh, get mega credits equal to their production plus their TR. Now, my production of money is nothing. Um, but uh, my production of cards, which is to say draw more cards and put them in my hand, is nothing. I've not done, built anything that increases my production. I have five heat, so... There we go. That's a fiver. These are ones, fives, and tens, as you might imagine. So, I've got five heat. I'm halfway towards warming the planet. Yeah! But I have no plant life, because uh, I do not produce it. Okay. Oh, by the way, folks. I should have forgot. I for totally forgot. I've got these tracks as well. Um... Which uh, is how I can keep track at a glance of what benefit, what um, discounts I get when I'm building buildings or spacefaring things. And remember, I've got one... Um... Was it just one? I have one from that. So I am getting um, a one discount. Or, you know, I have one discount level, which means I get two less. So I can just keep track of that here. And if I have, I think it's a titanium-based thing. I haven't built any of these. I get discounts on building stuff in orbit. So anyway, so I've got just the one, right? This is reminding me that it works for this action. Okay. So, um, I've generated my heat. I didn't get any of these, but I also get six bucks because my TR is at six. So, let's go on ahead and get me... Uh, there's a one, and there... Right, so, now I'm at 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm back up to 16 bucks. I'm in the money! And the dummy does it as well, but we don't care. And so, we're done. Now, we know for a fact, the last thing they're going to do is research. There's going to be some research this round through process of elimination. And again, you could be just as sure looking at a human player. Sometimes you know exactly what they're going to do. Alrighty, but meanwhile, i got to decide what I'm going to do. And it's not going to be production... And I'm not going to waste my time researching because some cards are coming my way anyway. So I'm certainly not doing that. Which means I am actually going to trigger actions. Which means I have enough money that I could um, get more oceans. And remember, before the game is over, i got to get all these flipped. And when I do flip them, I get bonuses. So I'm certainly incentivized to do it. But on the flip side, I know that my t opponent is ultimately going to let me do actions. So, um, although this is an interesting thing, if you're the one who leads, you get to do the action twice. Do I have enough money to activate this twice? No, I'm not rich enough for that. So, I'm not going to be doing actions right now. So, I am going to be either constructing or developing more stuff. Because I know research is coming my way. And I cannot produce. So, what do I want to build? Remember, if I choose to lead on green, I get a discount. So, this tectonic stress, which generates more heat, will be a lot cheaper. Um, and if I do this, I can do two blues or two reds or just one and draw another card. Oh, I so want this Earth Catapult. I really, really do. Um, but I'm only getting a $2. So this costs $22. And I've got, what is it, $16? So I'll have to burn cards to do it. Ah! Um, if I could, I would produce again right now just to make more money so I could be closer to doing the Catapult without having to burn all my cards. Hmm... Oh, the Dusty Quarry. I want to do this sooner than later, because I am planning on starting to flip these. Let's go on ahead and say, hey, you know what? Let's build a Dusty Quarry. Uh -huh. Oh, and this is interesting, because... Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. I mean, if I lead on this, I get a discount of three, which means I'll be wasting that discount. But on the other hand, I'll be getting more steel so I can build stuff cheaper. I really should do that before. Um, uh, all right, uh, but I should wait for him because I can build this without the discount. Okay, so I'm not going to build this right now. Um, but I could do moss, and which, oh, now this means I need to have three oceans flipped, so I can't do this yet. So I'm not going to be building that one. Uh, you know what? I like heat. And remember, this gives me, the, yeah, I, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Today, I am doing development. Everybody reveals research and development, and I get my production back. Hooray! Okay. And what do I want to build? One green card with a $3 discount? A lunar beam, please. So, it's 9 minus 3, 
minus three more means it only costs me three bucks. Three credits. One, two, three. Yeah. And I've just increased my heat production. One, two, three, four more levels. Although th this cost me more than just the money, I have to drop my terraform rating. I guess lunar beams are maybe a little damaging to the planet or something like that. Or maybe it's kind of questionable technology in the future. I'm not sure. But anyway, I built that with a discount. And now meanwhile, research comes along, which means since I didn't lead, I just draw two and keep one. Okay, and you can see, this is a big old deck with tons. Oh, it's over 200 cards in this deck. Alrighty, Fuel Factory, and aw, aw. If Jen were here, she would totally take the small animals. Although, these have very specific temperature requirements. You, you take this, but you will not be able to build it until um, the temperature gets up here. Until it gets up. And I'm working on the temperature, but it hasn't... We still have a very cold planet. So instead, a Fuel Factory which requires me to spend three heat, and that's nothing. I can generate heat all, seven ways to Sunday. This means I start producing money, and I can build stuff in space cheaper. I like this. Fuel factory for me, please. Oh, small animals I hardly knew you. Okay, so that was that. And, um, folks, um, we have now gone through this entire deck. And every time that happens, and this, this is a solo-only thing, because, of course, a real human opponent does not go through their entire deck. They only have one card that's not available. Whenever this happens, the timer ticks one step closer. And, as a bonus, we get a little something-something that kind of represents other players doing things. And now, this depends on the difficulty level. If you're playing on intro or, or, or hard or master, if you're playing on master, nothing happens. If you're playing on the medium level, you can choose the temperature or the oxygen to go up by one. And if you're playing on novice, and I am a novice, I can pick either of these to go up by two. By the way, again, check out the Kickstarter page. Uh, these are supposed to be cool little clear discs. My prototype didn't come with a disc, so I'm just using the yellow player cubes because there's no yellow player here to complain that I took his cubes. Alrighty. So, I get to push up. Do I want to push the heat up faster? Or I'm going to work on the heat myself. Do I want him to work on the oxygen? And it's kind of like, oh, you know what? We're almost kind of simpatico. I mean, you know, this guy's kind of pushing the oxygen up. Well, I, yeah, let's do that. Let's go. On. Although, do I care about the oxygen? Do I have any cards... No, I don't. I only have cards in my hand. Well, actually, I don't have any cards to carry either way. So what the heck? Let's go ahead and do that. One, two. He'll work on the... I'll have him work on the auction. And again, this is only a solo thing where you can order another player to work on things that help you. All right, so that was it. And um, we're continuing on. He's going to do something. He's going to do something. And I'm going to do anything other than development. And now it's wide open. I have no idea what my opponent is going to do because they could... Do just about anything. All right, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Okay, well, what cards? Do I want to get something more built? Do I want to do, I want to do a production level and generate um, nine heat? Which means I'll have done enough to start warming the planet. I don't want to do blue. I want to wait for him to do blue. I do have enough money on hand to be able um, to do this. Uh, so if he does blue, I will be able to flip an ocean tile. So I'm set for that if he's going to do that. I don't mind if he gives me more cards. Maybe I just do production. And because, you know, chances are we're going to build. It's a two and five chance that he's going to have us build something. And I'll just wait and see what he does. And I can do production in the meantime. But on the other hand, the sooner I get this built, the sooner my production goes through the roof on heat or plants. And this, no, I'm not doing this because I'm waiting for him to trigger green so I can build that for free. Or, uh, yeah, for practically free. Because um, I don't want to waste, uh, right. Yeah. Okay, let, no, I'm going I'm to produce. I'm going to produce. Yeah. So, uh, we all reveal at the same time production and research. Okay, well, that is not what I was hoping for. All right. So, first of all, stage four is production, then stage five. So I remember I'm supposed to be flipping these and then flipping them back over at the end of a round. I just haven't been doing that. Again, I don't think you'll ever need them unless you're playing like at the full player count. But it's nice to have them. Okay, so uh, first of all, production. Each player gains heat plants and blah, blah. I don't get any plants. I'm getting nine heat. So uh, let's go for five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boom. It's getting hot in here. And um, I, let's see. 
Yeah, I don't generate any money yet or any of the other stuff because I haven't built all of this cool business. But I am at five, so I generate five more space dollars. All righty. Um, right. And I get four more space dollars because I triggered this. Nice. So let's just go ahead and get one, two, three, four more. Yeah. I can make change and all that, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so we're done with production. Now it's research. Everybody, except for that, the player did it. Draw two, keep one. And assembly lines. All right, now this is um, something that we would build in space. In space! Which means if I've got titanium-based stuff, then I could get a discount on building it. Now, I don't have any. And what does this do? This is whenever I would use an action effect on one of my cards. Get So this is saying, if I have this in play, whenever I activate my aquifer, I make a buck off of it because of my uh, orbital assembly lines. That's pretty nice. But what is my other option? How about a power plant? Which, again, gives me one, two, three, four, five discount. Uh, so I, I build this for free completely, and I'm producing more heat. Let's just stick to the hothouse plan. Okay, so that's it. We're done. Next round. Who knows what he's going to do? What am I going to do? All right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. I am still waiting for him to do the action. And by the way, I think I misspoke earlier, folks. This is why you always watch the thing on subtitles. Um, all of these down here are bonus actions I can do during the action phase. Um, I think I might have said I do them during production. Maybe not. Anyway, though. So I'm waiting for him to do action. Maybe that's going to be the case. And if that's so, do I want to try and get another blue building built? Well, no, no, because I, when he triggers action, I can only do one thing. All righty. But boy, I this Earth Catapult, I just must have it. I think. And what do I have? I've got 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, I've got enough money. I'm going to construct. All righty. We're going to have a catapult in our near future. Let's see what happens. Boom. Oh, oh, that's all. I did not have to do that. All right. But still, it means I could have done it without, and I could have triggered something else, but I will still get the bonus, which is building two red or blue cards or drawing a card. All right. So this round there is only, and this will happen. This will definitely happen, especially at the lower player counts. And everybody chooses the same thing. And if that happens, that means you were not paying attention to your opponent and anticipating what they were going to do. Okay. So anyway, um, I get to build a blue and then a, uh, a second blue or red. I have no reds. I came here. I do not have enough money to build the fungus among us and the earth catapult. We are here. We are going to catapult. We are going to the stars. Let's build this thing. All righty. That cost me 24. Here's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Wait, oh, no, 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 no. It doesn't cost me 24. This is a building. Um, although, yeah, I've only got one steel. Yeah, I've only got one steel. So it cost me 22. So here's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh, wow. It's like I planned it. Boom. My earth catapult is built. And now this is a special purple effect, like my starting purple effect. So it means it doesn't happen during production. It's not an action I can trigger. This is telling me from now on, whenever I play any card for the rest of the game, I get a $2 discount, which is a good thing because I'm broke. Although again, I'm not broke because I can jettison any of these cards anytime I want to make money if I need it. So anyway, so now I can continue and build my other, I could build the fungus, which now has a discount of two because of my earth catapult. So it would only cost, is that a thing by the way? Our, our future, uh, you know, speculists thinking about earth catapults? I guess so. What's it look like? Okay, it's not a literal catapult. It's just a fast fire shuttle-y type thing, I guess. Anyway, to get stuff from Earth faster. Right, anyway. So I could build this for eight, but to get that eight, I'd have to jettison three cards. I don't think I want to. I'm just going to instead do the other bonus of drawing a card, which gives me standard technology. It gives me more science, which at this point I don't need, but I pay four less for standard actions that cost... Oh, that's pretty cool. There's another huge discount. Although, again, a very big cost to get that thing up and running. Alrighty, so that's it. He did the same. So we are done. We're moving on to the next round. I'm still waiting for him to trigger the blue. So I'm not going to run actions myself. I'm out of money. Maybe I should do some production again. Let's do it. Let's just produce some more. Alright, so that's what I'm doing. And he says, hi, 
Let's do actions. Okay. Production ha or no, actions happen and then production. And it can be important in the order because you might do an action that changes the effects of what'll happen during production or vice versa. But anyway, so each player activates one action and the player who leads activates two. And in addition to that, in addition to one of your action cards, and I only have one, um, you can activate the standard actions as many times as as you want. So, uh, let's go on ahead and activate this. Let's pay 10 minus 2 for every steal. So let's pay 8. I don't have 8 bucks. It's time to start uh, jettisoning cards. I need 8 bucks. Oh, this is hard. Oh. Oh, I don't want to jettison anything. Oh my gosh. You know what? This is too expensive. And I, yeah, I, I, and I don't want the sign. So that's 1 so now I have three. I just made three bucks. And you can jettison your cards anytime you want to make money. And how much money do I need? I need eight. So I got to get rid of two more. Oh, I don't want to get rid of that or that. Um, right. I'm on my way to flipping the oceans to get, make things mossy. I'll keep that. And I want the tectonic straight. Okay. So I'm just saying goodbye to both of those. Bye, 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 bye. All right. So that gave me um, six more. Bip, bop. And now I need eight to run my aquifer pumps instead of ten. I need some more steel to make that cheaper. So there goes eight, and I flip another. Uh, let's just jump over here and see what we get. We have got, I get to draw a card, and I get a buck. All righty. A buck, I get to draw another card, which is some symbiotic. Hey, I have one fungus leaves, another one shows up. And remember, every time you do any of the things, you get, so I'm back up to making more money. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, which remember, I'm about to do. This is a perfect example. Because I did an action that's moved this up, now production is going to happen. I'm making more money than I was uh, just a second ago. So that worked out very nicely. So we're done with actions. Now production. Once again, because I triggered this, I get a bonus four. And I'm, what am I getting? I'm six. So I'm getting 10 money. So let's just go ahead and take one of these, like back when we started. I'm still not making, I'm, I don't get to draw cards during production. Oh, wait. 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 Let's see. Let's, let's hold on a second. Because there's one more thing. Folks, remember, during the action, you get to do one action, which I did, plus any number of bonus actions. And I haven't really talked about them. These bonus actions are convert 20 bucks into a forest token. And now, the forest tokens are worth points. Every forest you've contributed. So basically, during production, or I'm sorry, during actions, that's when you can do these, you can turn 20 bucks into a point. Now, I'm playing solo. I don't care about that. I can also convert 14 bucks into increasing the temperature. I don't have 14 bucks. I can do eight plants into a forest tile. And now here's what's important. I can do eight heat to increase the temperature. And I can spend 15 bucks to flip an ocean tile. I do not have the money. I do have the heat. And the thing is, with heat and plants, if you've got enough, you must use them. You can't opt out and save up. So what do I have here? I've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Eight of it is gone. And for the first time, folks, Mars has just gotten warmer. And that means my TR value has gone up even more. So I'm making even more money. And now if I had enough heat, I'd have to do it a second time because you can't um, stockpile it. Okay, so then we move on to production. And instead, I make the four bonus plus seven. So I'm actually making 11 money. And now I'm refilling my heat, which uh, I earned nine, right? So here's a 10. Boom. So I'm going to keep on heating this planet. I do not make any plants still. And uh, that was that. So production is done. Nice. Okay. So, and I've still got a bunch of cards in my hand. I've got, I'm, I'm starting to get flush with cash again. I've got some more heat to heat up. I'm relying on him to do this. And I've still got my cheaper than normal way that I can flip ocean tiles. So we are done with another round. And I got to ask myself, what do I want to do next? Anything but production. I cannot do that. I got a lot of greens I'd like to build, but he's going to two green and I'd rather... Although I could do this, or, or actually, oh no, no, I have to get this dust done because now I'd be really worried if there was another human player because they might be flipping these at any time. He's never going to flip. So I know the ocean's not going to flip until I want, but I need to get this dusty thing done before I have flipped too many oceans. But I'm waiting for him to do green. So do I want to get this symbi- I haven't even looked at this yet. What does it do? Well, first of all, oh, it needs heat. This is not going to happen for a while. All right. So, and it's an action that allows me to, uh, to start building up microbes, which will probably feed some other function that I could combo off of. You've seen some of those cards throughout. 
So, you know what? I think I want to do some research while I'm waiting for him. All right, so I choose research. I choose, choose, choose it. And he chooses production. Right, okay. And I was really, really hoping he would do the development. So just for fun, I'm going to cheat and say he chose development. Because I can do it. So I'm researching. First we do development. And um, let's see. I don't get a discount, but I'm going to build this. It only costs two. One, two. And it's um, steel, which means now, from now on, I get a $4 discount every time I build a building. In addition to my standing discount um, for everything, thanks to this purple, in addition to my energy discount, so I am becoming a building super house. And folks, we have just gotten started because we're going to play a total of 25 rounds. And it's interesting, in the solo game, once this moves all the way up, which means we've gone through his deck four times, we're going to go through his deck one last time. And for the last round, we can um, uh, basically... Oh, you know what? I'll let you look it up in the rules. But basically, it gives you a little bit more control near the end of the game. And it's uh, it's an interesting twist. So, um, I think I'm going to stop right there. Because that should give you a pretty good idea of the basic flow. Terraforming Mars, the Ares expansion. If you want to hear some final thoughts now, you can hit that eye in the top right corner of the screen. Or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.